Oh man, what's up everybody? Jason over here at Car Kill Farm. Whoo, it is starting to get cool on us over here in central Alabama. I'm telling you. Starting to get cool. So much so that uh, we're going to winterize a chicken coop of Mary Carl's. And we'll get into that in just a minute. And also get into some big changes and a big decision that she has made on her own with no outside influence of her parents but to show you how cool it is y'all look at the goats sunning this morning and old peach back there in the corner look at her <laughs> speaking of sun what's up sunshine what's up sunshine what's up girl yeah what's up ladies now I will say this, we have since swapped Tip out. Uh, Tip was in here with the girls because one of the girls was in heat and had Joe all messed up, but that has seemed to cool down and Tip's so rough with the girls. He's the dominant one in here when he gets put in with the girls. And I saw Bootsy and Bo Peep under the picnic table and Tip wasn't letting anybody get the hay. He was just being so protective of the hay. So I relocated Tip back over to the boys where things have calmed down a good bit now. What's up, Nuggo? I'm gonna come get you in just a minute, buddy. But yeah, things have calmed, calmed down over here with old Tip. <laughs> that Egyptian goose, did y'all hear that thing? Oh my gracious, sounds like he's got laryngitis. What's up, guys? What's up, Bluey? All right. We'll get everybody going this morning. Who wants a animal cracker? You want one, Joe? Joe, top. You go, Joe. Joe. Tip got your animal cracker, Joe. Joe really don't care for animal crackers like the rest of them. Never really. You got that one. Put some in there. But you can see things are semi calm in here with the boys. Now, Tilt will try to run Topper off, but Topper will give it back to him. And that's Bucks being Bucks. Even though Tilt's not a hundred, well, Tilt's fixed. What's up, Nugget? High five this morning? All right, buddy. Uh, what's cool to us, let me cut this alarm system off so we can hear around here. What's up, ladies? What's up, ladies? All right, here we go. All right, Nuggeton. Throw some out there for the long system too. Hay feeder for the goats now. The darn ducks keep on getting in here, getting Peach's water dirty. We clipped some wings of some ducks so they were steadily coming in here. So hopefully we got them handled. Girls, girls, girls. All right, what's cool? What's, what's the cool temperature been? We got down to 39 last night and you know, this is central Alabama, so cool, cool weather. That's cool weather for us. <laughs> I know that sounds crazy. And it will get colder than that, but that is cool for us here. And so we got some chickens that we need to winterize, I guess you need to say. Who wants an animal cracker? That, whoa, boots. 
good gracious. Did you see that, Mary Carl? What a bootsy. Thank you. My gracious. She put it to her, didn't she? All right, ladies. Let's go, ladies. All right, boss lady. We're fixing to get you fixed up, girl. You sure can. I'm going to go ahead and empty her water. I don't want her drinking that mess during ducks. I'm hoping clipping them ducks' wings stop this, Mary. Oh. Yeah, we're hoping, Peach. Get Peach's gummy vitamin in there. We always put water on Peach's feed. This is recommend, recommended, us, recommended to us by the Auburn Vet School. And so that's what we do now. Let's see, look at them ducks. Yeah, I ain't been getting in Peach's water, have you? Huh? Break this time on the farm. What's up, everybody? There's old Tommy. What's up, Thomas? What's up, buddy? The PI, the PITs. I heard several people ask, what does PIT stand for? And that's Private Investigating Turkey. Yeah. Following you to the scratch bucket. y'all go a little snack this morning our feeders are pretty good their feeders are pretty good I need a little bit but not much that one's cool there that one's pretty good what's up corny what's up buddy there's loki seal v1 seal v2 that one's full too yeah here comes tuck tuck what's up tucker we got, I gotta show y'all something with Tucker now. That chicken run over to Tucker. Look, she's gonna run Tucker off, ain't she? Which chicken is that? Oh, Pendant Sinker. These are dark brown eggs. You gonna get you some scratch this morning, Tucker? Yeah. Let's go check on the peacocks. Hey, baby girl. Hey, baby girl. What is up, Scott? Now oh, their food looks good. The water looks good. They're good. You want to give them a little scratch? Yeah. I usually give some out. I see some on the ground, though, so I won't give them too much. So earlier this week, we did something cock kill crazy and painted this chicken coop. We got one, one or two coats on it. We got to put a couple more coats on it. But we did paint this chicken coop. What color green is it called? Oh, uh, seagrass. Seagrass green. <laughs> and you got this on clearance at Tractor Supply. Yes, it said on the company's website that it's $39.99 a gallon. Uh-huh. And that says $7.49, but I paid $6.49 a gallon. Oh, wow. So I bought 12 gallons, which is three gallons for each coop, for $96. Wow. Well, hello. There. Hello, June. June. Ginger. June. That is June. 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 Good try, though. Just okay. take a look around at our supervisors. Speaking of supervisors, y'all look right there. Oh, my goodness. Y'all know who that is. That's the boss lady herself. She's doing some serious supervising over here. Just like right here? Yeah. Anyway. Go with it. Ooh. I like it. You like it? Mm-hmm. All right. So you like it? Yeah. Good. Doesn't that look better? Yeah, it looks way better. What do you think, May Carl? I like it. Oh, I think it's, I think it's gonna be spectacular. Yeah. I really do. But this, you see how ugly that looks? Yeah, you wanna do that in gray? I bought some good primer that's supposed to cover up rust. Uh-huh. And then they have that inexpensive paint 
yeah in some tan light tan colors and also gray so i'm thinking instead of buying a gallon of expensive white i just use that yeah i think so too think and that'll, perfect. that'll be and it's just right here it's just around the edge that's it yep i think it'd be perfect i like it i like the muted tone let's go with it So a few weeks ago, or a couple of videos ago, I made this chicken coop for Mary Carl, and uh, the teenagers were to get the silkies in there because they were in the horse trailer because of the move. Well, our videos are kind of behind. As you can see, this thing's painted, and so, and it's just because I had so many videos recorded because of the move and what was going on, but I'm starting to get caught up and get up to date on that, which is gonna allow me to hopefully start doing three videos a week if I can, well, we'll see how that goes. But my point was, is that Mary Carl has really fallen in love with two breeds of chickens mainly. And that is the modern game hen and the Sarama. Now, she loves silkies, but she started to show more interest in these two breeds versus the silkies. And you know, this is this is her hobby. This is what she likes to do. Um, so we let her make decisions on things like that. So she had about, I don't know, 10 silkies that she had in here that she was really torn about. But we have a friend of ours who loves silkies. And so through much deliberation and all Mary Carl's decision, she decided to rehome her silkies to that friend. And not all of them, she kept some, and they're out here with the big chickens. But she really wants to focus a lot on modern game chickens and Saramas, ain't that right? Yeah. And why do you like the modern game and the Sarama? I think that modern games are just cool in general. Uh huh. Saramas are really just sweet little chickens. Uh -huh. I like them because they're little. Yeah. Um, the Sarama is the world's smallest chicken breed, right? Yeah, they are. And I still have silkies. You still have silkies. <laughs> yeah. And you got them. They're, they're, it's not like that we got rid of all our silkies. There's another one right there. I think yeah, that's they, Cheryl. There's, that's there's April. April April's little baby, Bobby. I think Emu's around here somewhere, isn't he? Yeah, he's so he's a, he's under there. Okay, <laughs> so you kept some of your favorites. Yeah, I did. So it's not like we got completely rid of all the silkies, yeah. and they're and they're in the coop, and we got another coop coming. So who's to say uh, what we will won't do? But I noticed that, you know, and I will say this: um, silkies are a lot of work. They are. Silkies are a lot of work. They got all that fancy hair. You have to keep their feathers clean. You have to keep them not knotted. Well, it's just, I always say it's kind of like owning a long hair dog really? versus a short hair dog. Really? So if you were a, 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 like a dog breeder or was showing dogs, it'd be like kind of like owning a poodle or a collie or something that's high maintenance versus a dog that's not so much high maintenance. So let's go show them your new chickens. We went to a chicken show in Fort Payne, Alabama, and you already had a couple of modern games already. I had a pair that I got at another chicken show. So you had modern games, and you've had modern games before. Yep. And so let's show them your new, your new chickens in here. Now you got some bantams in here, and you got a saram in here, Cini. Yeah, I didn't really want to put her in here because she's really feisty. Yeah, Cini is a firecracker, y'all. This little thing right here. She's the boss. She is. She is the boss. Now, let's show everybody these beautiful chickens you have and why you like them so much. So, this is Melinda. Speaking of silky, she is a silky sarama, which means her feathers are silky. She is she, a silky sarama, and you can show them what a regular sarama looks like. Let's start with that first, then we can go into that. Yep. Now this is... Tiny Tim. Tiny Tim. He is a sarama rooster. Yes. Who scored an 87 at the chicken show we went to. Yes. Which was second that we saw amongst all the saramas there. And there Most, was a mess of saramas there, y'all. Most of them... I did probably about 80 roosters that were scored yeah. when we got him. Yeah. It's probably about 
80 smooth roosters. Yeah. And 100 is the best score, but the best score at that show was an 89. He scored an 87. Um, so, Tiny Tim scored an 87, and the highest we saw was an 89. Yeah. And you're really seriously thinking about showing these chickens, especially Saramas. Now, yeah. Saramas are really cool because at the chicken shows, they're kind of like the main event. They have their own little thing because Saramas do a cool dance. Even the females do it too, but the males are really known for it. And they call it a tabletop show. Yep. And they'll take the Saramas and they'll judge them by their dance on top of these tabletops. And it's just, everybody loves it, everybody gets into it. And then they do a regular showing for them, like the normal Which is called in, in Cage. In Cage show. And so the Saramas are judged tw twice. Yes. Now this is a Silky. This is Melinda. Uh huh. I'm gonna get her too. Or Silkied, not a Silky chicken, a Silkied. Now she's a Sarama. Look at that, she, she was fixing the dance. She's a Sarama that has thin feathers that are similar to a Silky, but not quite as elaborate as a Silky chicken. They're not quite as puffy as a yeah, Silky. Yeah, right. Still she low lacks, maintenance. Yeah, she lacks the hooks in her feathers, yeah. like, like, let me show you on her wing. Well, never mind. <laughs> but what about him? Can you see it in his? He might. He seems be. very friendly. Yeah. You see how his wing feathers they stay together? Yeah. Silkies they don't they lack the hooks that keep their feathers. I got together. you. And then you got a trio of um, uh, modern games. Modern games. Now show everybody your modern games here. Start off with your little root. And these are all bantams. Yeah. The standards are about this tall. Yeah. <laughs> they're kind of scary looking. Now, what's cool about the modern game, they're known for their long legs. Look and at they're that. so long that when you hold them, they shake. Yes. I'm just going to let him sit right here. He is a brown red. I have a brown red hen that I'll show. Uh -huh. And I don't know why it's called brown red. It's not actually brown and red. <laughs> well, it's, it's red, but it's yeah. not really brown. Right. Um. They are derived from fighting chickens. Uh huh. Even though they've never even been there, they don't fight at all. Yeah, they're not <laughs> aggressive. Modern games are very docile. Yes, very. Very like, docile. All right, so show us your female old Englishes. Now these you just got moderns. all the. I'm sorry, moderns. These you just got at the chicken show. Yes. Now she's a splash, right? She's a splash. Her uh -huh. name's Blueberry. That's Blueberry. And his name was Cobbler, right? Yeah. Look at her legs. Yeah, you can see those long legs they have. She's she's a little bit taller than the other hen. See that? I wonder if she's a little bit older. I don't know. Hmm. He looks young. He is young. Yeah, he's, young. he's definitely under a year. Alright, show us is she's a brown red? She's a brown red. And this is your other It I old think English. it's also known as Golden Virgin. Uh huh. There's a silver bird that looks, the roosters look like him, it's a white instead of gold. Okay. She's, look at her little feet. I know it, <laughs> they're, they're so, they are, they are, Wait, they see, are. Wait, see, she's a little bit shorter. Yeah, she is a little bit shorter, and these chickens are very unique looking, I tell you. Very. And they can run really fast. So these are your new babies. Yep. And we were told by one of the top Sarama gurus in the country that they do not need to get below 40, below 40 degrees in temperature. So we have them a heat light in here. And so today I'm gonna to start winter proofing this, um, this coop for them. Now he actually kept his in a smaller containment than yeah. this because they're really, really small chickens. I mean, they are tiny. And he was breeding them and all that, so he had breeding cages and all that kind of good stuff. Which we haven't, we're not there yet. We just got our Saramas. And we hope to possibly start showing the Saramas soon. Well, I say soon. In the near future. I don't know how soon it is. And you may start a little breeding stock of them. Yeah. Yeah. I really like her colors and the fact that she's silky. Uh-huh. She's still. Yeah, she's pretty. I'm pretty sure she would be considered a buff cuckoo. Yeah. It's really hard to tell silky colors. I got you. Because they're they're really crazy. Yeah. Well, I think they're just beautiful. They are. 
So what I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna start winterproofing your coop. Uh -huh. It feels really good in here now. I am gonna come back and put some insulation on top here and I'll probably just use that foam board insulation to go on top. We do have the windows in here. Um, I will see you about these. I got plastic that I'm fixing to put up and I don't know if I'm gonna put plastic over the windows. I or think not. the windows should be open. I do too for ventilation purposes. And cover this door. You think cover this one? This one. Not this one. I don't think that one okay. because those get, they're getting okay. really hot sometimes. Cool, then that's what they're we'll do then. They used to be like really warm. They were in a little outside coop. Yeah, these guys are in outside coop. Now this is called a rose comb, which is a Bantam breed, which is also beautiful. Yeah, he's... He is so pretty. He's a model, which is a very weird color in rose comb. The difference between a model and a paint is that they're the total opposite, right? Total opposite. A paint is white with black spots. Like Emu right there. Oh, there's Emu. He's a, he's a paint. And then the model is black with white spots. And she's a blue, right? Or lavender? She's blue. Blue. She's cool. Bell. And she's. Bell's she's one really... of your favorites, right? Yeah. Yeah. You can see how pretty Duchess's feathers are. That's, That's her, her mama. mama. Yeah. And <laughs> Belle is really, really weird looking right now because she's molting. Oh, okay. There's little feathers of hers everywhere. And you went to a chicken show. And somebody gave you some eggs that were there. Yes. Like, like you can walk around the chicken show and you'll see the hens in their little cages and they'll lay eggs. Yeah. And you got a few eggs for free at the yes. chicken show and that one hatched. This and you think hatched. it's a cushion, a bantam cushion. Ooh. <laughs> she don't want you messing with her baby, does she? <laughs> so you think that's a cushion? A partridge. Partridge cushion. Like a miniature Cleo. All right, and you have two quail in here. That's uh, Pipsqueak. That's Pipsqueak. How old is Pipsqueak? Five? About five. Five years old. And quail will live to be three. So he's almost doubled his life expectancy. Almost. Next year he'll be six. That's crazy. Oh, Pipsqueak, he's been here, been with us a while. That is a little red frizzle. Oh, that's a red frizzle. Yeah. What's her name, Ginger? No, that's uh, Curly. Curly. All right. I've well, never seen quail on the roost, but they get on. They do get on the roost. Well, I'm fixing to go get my tools, and I'm fixing to winterize this coop for you. Okay. I want to show you the green stalk real quick. This is the lettuce one. You can see our lettuce seeds are coming up. How exciting is that? Look over here. This is the one that looks like it has the mixed greens in it. And... This looks like mixed greens because I see purple. I can't, <laughs> I can't remember what we planted in the top one. Um, maybe spinach? That may be spinach up there? I think that's what that is. And then that's the mixed greens because it's got purple in it. And down here are radishes. Everybody chilling in the shade. <laughs> What's up, Emu? I think that's a cream leg bar. I think that's what that is. Oh, y'all got a little tomato or something down there, don't you? I see a little fruit. Don't mind me, guys. It's gonna be a little construction going on. Shouldn't take long. I just got some plastic, just like painter's plastic. I'm just gonna put up here. Uh, I'm gonna use roofing nails, I believe, which I have plenty of, but I don't think I'll be able to use them on this screen door. I think I'm gonna have to go to uh, some staples. All right, let's get this party started. It installed. This should work out. It's this warm in here already. I can tell you guys, it is warm. We may put us a thermometer in here. These little chickens ought to be nice and cozy in here. And this will make Mary Carl really happy. And for some reason, if we say we need to do something with these windows, we'll do it. I don't think I'll do something like the plastic. I may put something where I can take it on and off very easily so we can get ventilation in here. We don't want it seal tight at least that's just my opinion that's just what i think i don't want it 
where he can't breathe. I want the I want that chicken coop area to be well ventilated. So you, you gonna finish where we left off? I am. But I'm cold. <laughs> oh we we had some spots there that um we painted it late in that evening and we think the dew got on it. And it looks like it just ran down like it rained on it. So we gotta go back over that or fix that. I think once we fix that it'll be pretty much finished except for the trim on the back side. Yeah, and then I think Mary Carl wants to paint on it. This is kinda like the base coat. Maybe paint she said sunflowers, I heard her say, on there and just a backdrop. We paint all kind of stuff on there. Who knows what it'll look like in a few months. Peaches does need it. You can go get her a paintbrush. Me too. We're going to paint on there. Uh, probably, if I had to guess, a watermelon. I was thinking like a pink convertible car. <laughs> I know she loves watermelon. <laughs> watermelon. <laughs> that may be her favorite food. Watermelon? Don't you think? Yeah, she slurps a lot when she eats watermelon. She is something when she eats watermelon. Yeah. Oh, peach. Alright, so I'm going to give it a stir. Give it a stir. And I don't need any white silkies to help. I, would, I just saw one over yonder that has green paint all over. Yeah. <laughs> we did our best to make them stay away, but... <laughs> it didn't do much good. It didn't all obey. No. Where they is all, that green silky it's, anyway? It's right over there. Y'all ever seen a green silky? I'm fixing to go show a duel. A green silky. There it is, right there. I mean, she helped a lot. <laughs> Tommy said he'll help you. Woo! <laughs> Oh, Tommy. All right, look at them. They just, all, they're just flocking to me. They, uh... How about let's give them a little scratch to make get, them... Okay, I'll do that. What do you think? Yeah, it's going good. It'll be, you know, dry by the time nightfall comes. Yeah, it's just pretty That's what did it. It was afternoon. just the moisture. I think this should be our final day on this one. Yeah, I think so too. And we got colors for the other ones. We got colors for the other ones. And I don't think it's going to be too much longer before we move that big unit out into the pasture. Yeah, this is going to go, this is an egg mobile. And so we are going to eventually move it into the pasture and see how that goes and move it regularly. It won't be in one spot for too long. That That's what we want. Not a, our plan is it for to help fertilize the pasture and the chickens will be on fresh ground daily, which, you know, they're free ranging now. But well, you can see, look at how much of the grass they've consumed. Yeah. yeah, you can see. Somebody said in the video they could not believe how much grass those chickens have gone through in a short period of time. You know what else people have said? What's that? They can't believe how many chickens we have because oh. they couldn't tell we had that many at the old farm. Oh. Y'all look at here. Tucker in front of the cat house and Pink in the cat house having a little dinner. Cat house is working. It is working. Just wanted to show you guys that. 